I used AI to create a music video and the results are scary. So a few weeks ago, I had an idea to create a short and I wrote a script out and wanted to make the short and then I thought, you know what, it would be cool if I added some like stock footage or something to this short just to make it look more interesting so it's not just my head talking for the whole video. And I just typed in my prompt to the AI and I said, make a video with this prompt that I was gonna speak and I pushed export and then as I was exporting it, I realized, oh, I forgot to say, make the video vertical. So it was making a, a horizontal video. I was like, great, I can't even use this. But after it exported, I decided to watch it and I'm gonna show you guys what it produced because what it did was just like incredibly kind of scary. It was like everything that I had written but like it expanded upon what I had written and it had like actually said it better than I even said it myself and I was kind of blown away by the results. So let's jump into this video and I'll show you what it looks like. If you're a musician, you are not normal. Here's why. As musicians, our thought process diverges from the norm. We don't shy away from failure, rather we embrace it as a stepping stone to success. So that was one of the points that I talked about in the video, like if you're a musician, you're not normal because you have to embrace failure, you have to make all these mistakes, yada yada yada. It was only like one sentence though, and then they, they like expanded upon it and it's, it's incredible. There's no such thing as productive music making without first encountering a few sour notes. The pursuit of perfect harmony requires a familiar friend, failure. Imagine a scientist meticulously- I talked about a scientist and like I wanted a shot of a scientist and this was like exactly what I kind of envisioned. envisioned. And they threw in some more fancy words though, like a scientist meticulously, you know, conducting experiments. Conducting experiments in a lab. They hypothesize, test, observe, and then analyze. They aren't deterred by failed experiments. Instead, they use these as learning opportunities to refine their hypotheses and improve their experimental design. This is strikingly similar to the process a musician goes through. Approaching a passage of music is like conducting an experiment. It involves examining it from every conceivable angle, taking into account finger placement, technique, and musicality. So those are like three points that I also added. Technique, place, finger placement, fingering, and uh, musicality were three things that I wanted to mention, which they like perfectly nailed it and just kind of expanded upon my idea of, yeah, how you do have to kind of be like a scientist and figure out the best fingering, why it's, why you should choose that fingering, why is it more musical than a different fingering, you know, it might be harder than an easier fingering, all, all these things go into it, but uh, pretty crazy so far, right? It's like, it's a cool video, I'm not gonna lie. The goal is not just to play it right once, but to figure out how to replicate the process to achieve the same result with every practice repetition. Yet, unlike a scientific experiment, there's no single correct result. As musicians, we often stumble upon multiple solutions. I will say the vibe is kind of, I don't know, the vibe is kind of like dark. There's like that music like, oh, it's like kind of, it's kind of more intense maybe than I wanted it to be, but uh, it works. Let's keep going to a single problem. The challenge then becomes deciding which solution best fits our artistic vision. This requires a great deal of decision making, something that many people shy away from. They prefer to be told how to do something and be done with it. This is not the norm. It's not a method that everyone can adopt. It requires a willingness to take risks, to make mistakes, and to learn from them. It involves embracing the unknown and making decisions that can drastically alter the final product. Yeah, now, now that I watch it, I don't know, it's good, but I feel like I don't like it as much, actually. This is only like the second time I watched this. Um, I just feel like it's too intense. It's kind of like, it's not the norm, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, it's just, it kind of has a negative vibe to it. But uh, not that it's bad, it's still, it's still a cool piece of work. Okay, it's almost done, we'll finish it and I'll try to stop talking. It's what sets musicians apart. <clears throat> it's the process that transforms sound into music, noise into symphony. So, if you're a musician, embrace your abnormality. It's this unique thought process that allows you to unlock the creative part of your brain to take what you hear inside of you and transform it into a beautiful reality of sound. This abnormal process is the essence of artistry, the soul of music. In conclusion, being a musician is about more than just playing notes on an instrument. It's a journey of self-discovery and creative expression. It's a process of experimentation, decision-making, and learning from failure. It's about turning sound into music and in doing so, transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary. So the next time someone tells you that you're not normal, take it as a compliment. After all, who wants to be normal when you can create magic? Boom, there's the video. Pretty crazy, right? 
I think, yeah, well, when I, when I make a short, it's got to be 60 seconds or less. So the script that I wrote was less than 60 seconds or just about 60 seconds. And so they expanded on this. It's two minutes and 32 seconds. So they more than doubled what I said and just expanded upon everything, which is, which is crazy. So uh, like I said, if you guys want to see the original short where kind of the thought came from, the idea came from, I'll have a link to it up here or in the description. So feel free to check that out if you want to. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you have any thoughts about AI and music in the comments. I'm curious to know what you guys think about that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys also for the, for the uh, blah, blah, blah. Thank you guys for all the recent support on my channel. I very, very much appreciate you all and for leaving comments. So thank you guys a lot. See you in the next video.